what we're going to be going over here is variance analysis using standard costing. But before we get into our calculations, let's understand what we mean here by standard costing. Okay, so what the company has done here, they're going to have some master budgeted amount here. And then under their master budget, they're going to have this operating budget. And then they would have underneath that our sales budget. And then we get down to our production budget. So this is where our standard costing comes into effect here. Uh, under the production operation, they're going to be keeping track of the direct materials, the direct labor, and the factory overhead that would be going into the products they're manufacturing. Now, with standard costing, the company has established a, a cost. They know exactly the quantity of materials, labor, and overhead that should be going into their product, at least the, the best estimate they can come up with, and also the cost of that labor material and overhead. It's, it's usually some measured amount through time study or some sort of costing, measured a costing system. So they know the quantity, they know the cost. So quantity times cost is going to give them the amount that they're going to have to include here for their direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. And really what this uh, standard costing is doing here, it's an inventory valuation method here for uh, evaluating actually your ending inventory for the materials, the labor, and also your factory overhead. So within that standard costing system, we are going to have changes here uh, in the under the production operation where they're going to use a little bit more or less material, labor, or factory overhead. And that's where we're going to be looking at the variations here. But nonetheless, standard costing is has to do with the product that's being manufactured in the uh, in under the manufacturing or the production operation. And remember, the standard cost that's developed here uh, in our production operation is really being used by the sales department for selling the product. And also, uh, it, it does affect our cost of goods sold and our income statement based on these vari vari various variances that we're gonna be looking at. Okay, so that's where we're coming from with standard costing. All right, let's go up and let's look over here. So let's just go over here and we're gonna look at the general model that we, we'd be using here for standard costing. Again, remember it's a variance analysis, what we're being looking at here. And really this is where we're comparing our actual, res actual results versus some standard cost that we set up here for our product. And of course the actual results are the actual cost the standard cost is that predetermined amount for our, fact, our, for our materials, our labor, and our overhead here. So for variance analysis, really you're looking at three different amounts here, or you could call them budgets, but different amounts. You're gonna have your standard amount here, and then with your standard amount, you would have determined that at some pre, uh, beginning of the period or when you launched your product here. And then when you're actually producing the product here, either during the production of the product or let's say end of the period here, you're gonna know your actual results for the period. And then based on your actual results and the standard that you set, you're gonna have some flexible amount here. So let's just go and let's look at the general model here. So for our standard, that's gonna be some standard quantity times some standard price, that equals your standard cost. And then over, for the actual results here, that would be the actual quantity, of course, of material, labor, and overhead that you're using here, times the actual price for each of those. Actual quantity times actual price equals your actual results. Okay, so now we know our actual results, we know our standard cost, now we can determine our flexible budgeted amount here, as we call it. That's really taking the actual quantity that we have here for the period we're looking at times the standard price. Actual quantity is coming from our actual results. Standard price here is coming from our standard costing. So actual quantity times standard price is our flexible budgeted amount or our flexible amount. So now this is how we look at our variance. We can, we're gonna be looking at the differences between the actual, the flexible, and the standard amount. And the overall difference would be, or variance would be between your actual and your standard that you've established. So first off, this is just the general procedure that you'd be using. You're gonna have some quantity here, labor, material, overhead in this case. And of course, the actual AQ, I got everything color-coded here. Actual amount would be the actual quantity here. 
Now the flexible amount, that's going to take on the actual quantity because that's what we established up here. It takes for the flexible um, budget here is based on the actual quantity and of course the standard amount here is based on the standard quantity. I'm showing that in blue here. And then for the price, of course we have our actual price based on our actual amount, actual price, but the flexible uh, budget here is going to take on the standard price from our standard that we've established here. Okay, and then of course the standard has the standard price itself. So the flexible budget and the actual actual and flexible budgets have the same actual quantity used, but the flexible for the price here, the flexible budget and the standard amount are using that standard price that's been established. Okay, so now for the amount. All you do is, of course, the actual amount, actual quantity times actual price equals your actual amount. And then for your flexible amount, uh, flexible amount, just take actual quantity times your standard price here. Okay, that's for a flexible amount. And then your standard amount is just taking your standard quantity times your standard price. Okay, so you got, what we had to get down to is our different amount here. And that would be for our uh, materials, labor, and overhead. You'd have to do that for each each of those. Okay, so then you get down to your variances here. So you're going to have some price or rate variance. And that's simply comparing your actual uh, um, results for the period with, versus your flexible amount. So you get, see what we've got here. What's common between those here? The actual quantity. You can factor out the actual quantity here. And the only difference, then the variance is between your actual price and your standard price. So a difference, actual price, subtract your standard price from it, times the actual quantity here. That's going to be your price or rate variance. And then the other variance we would have is some quantity or volume variance. Again, between our direct labor materials and overhead, some quantity or volume variance. Also, it could be called some efficiency variances, depending on what you're looking at. And that's simply take it, comparing the difference between your flexible and your standard amount. So again, uh, quantity volume variance, you just take, well, between flexible and standard amount here, the common which you can factor out as your standard price. They both share that in common here. So the difference is your variance here is the actual quantity and difference between actual quantity and your standard price. That difference times the standard price itself. So that's your quantity or volume variance here. Okay, so you can see what's or efficiency variance. So you can see your price or cost difference here or that price or rate variance. That's the difference between actual price and the standard price in this case. And then your volume or efficiency or quantity uh, is really the difference between the quantities you're talking about, the actual quantity versus your standard quantity. Okay, so that's what we're talking about when we're talking about different variances. And this is just the general procedure. And just for your reference here, AQ here in green was the actual quantity. SQ here in blue was standard quantity. AP was the actual price. SP here in red is your standard price. And just remember, this is standard costing and what we're talking about standard costing in this case is our material, our labor, and our overhead. And this is just the general procedure. Okay, following our general model here, we'll go through our variances here for direct materials, direct labor, and our overhead. Okay, so starting with our direct material here, we're going to have a price variance. And that's going to be the difference between the actual price versus the standard price. That difference times the actual quantity that we purchased here. And what I've done here is I got everything color coded here. And we'll just look at these different terms here and how we can factor them out. So uh, the common amount here between our actual and our flexible amount for that price variance was the actual quantity that we purchased. They share that in common here. The difference was between the actual price and the selling price. So that's how we'll go through this table here. So actual price versus uh, subtract and compare it to the standard price. That difference times the actual quantity purchased was our price variance. Okay, so for our usage variance, that's going to be just the difference between our actual price and our standard price. That difference times the actual quantity used. So going and looking at our actual versus our flexible amount, you can see the common term that we had to factor out here was the actual quantity used. And, that, and then the usage variance was the actual price versus the standard price times that actual quantity used. And now we have the quantity variance, and that's the difference between our flexible 
and our standard amounts. So you can see a uh, common term here is going to be the standard price. They both use the standard price, so we can factor that out. So the variance would be, again, the quantity variance would be the actual quantity used here from the flexible amount uh, versus or subtract from that the standard quantity allowed here from the standard amount. So that difference times the standard price is our quantity variance. Okay, so now for our direct labor. Well, we'll look at start with our rate or price variance, and that's the difference between our actual and our flexible amount. And what we can factor out from there is the actual hours used. Our, we're basing it on hourly use here for direct labor. And that is the common factor between our actual and flexible amount, and the differences between the actual rate, hourly rate, versus the standard rate here. Okay, so that difference, actual rate versus or subtract from it, our standard rate, that difference times the actual hours used is our rate or price variance. Now for efficiency variance, that's between our flexible and our standard amount. So uh, the common factor here would be that standard rate that's established. Both flexible and the standard amounts use that. So the difference or the variances versus the actual hours used versus standard hours allowed. So that difference times our standard rate is our efficiency variance. And now for our variable overhead, we're going to have a spending variance here and an efficiency variance. So starting with our spending variance, that's between our actual and our flexible amounts. And the common term that we can factor out here is the actual hours used. That's based on our variable overhead is going to be based on our direct labor hours that we that we've used here. So that's the common term we can factor out and the difference is between the actual variable rate versus the standard variable rate. We've got some variable rates we have to determine. So the difference between the actual variable rate and our standard variable rate, that difference times the actual hours used is our spending variance. And then for our efficiency variance, that's between our flexible and our standard amount and the common factor term that they have is the standard variable rate here between the two. So the difference is, uh, variance is the difference between the actual hours used and the standard hours allowed. So that difference, actual hours used less our standard hours allowed times the standard variable rate uh, uh, for per hour here for this variable overhead. That's our efficiency variance. Now for our fixed overhead variance, we have a spending variance and a volume variance. So for our spending variance, that's between our actual and our flexible amount. So really they don't have any common factor here between the two. Uh, the flexible amount is gonna use a new term here, DH here, that's the denominator hours or those are the total uh, direct labor hours here for the period that we're basing our fixed overhead on. So we have to really, for our spending variance, we just have to calculate it and subtract them all separately here. So for actual amount would be the actual hours used times the actual fixed overhead rate here, that amount. And then the variance would be the difference here between our flexible amount, those would be the uh, standard, uh, it should be a standard fixed rate here. I got the BF here, it should be a standard fixed rate. But nonetheless, it would be the difference between the, de the denominator hours times the standard fixed rate. And that would be the flexible amount. So just the difference between your actual and your flexible amounts. So that's your spending variance. And then the volume variance is simply the difference between the flexible and the standard amounts. And in this case, it should be an SF here. That would be the common term that we can factor out. And the difference would be the de denominator hours versus the standard hours allowed. So denominator hours less the standard hours allowed, that difference times the standard fixed rate here. That would be the volume variance. This BF here should have been an SF. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so that's our different variances. And then just following over here, we can look at our key here. AQP was the actual quantity purchased. SQU. SQA here in blue was the standard quantity allowed. AP, AP here was the actual purchase price. SP in red is the standard purchase price. AHU is the actual hours used. SHA is the standard hours allowed. AV, actual unit variable cost here. Uh, that's the variable cost on a per unit basis here. SF is standard unit variable cost. Again, on a per unit basis, on a per hour basis here if you base it on I base it on direct labor. And then AF is the actual fixed overhead rate. SF is the standard fixed overhead rate. Again, 
on some per hour basis here if you base it on direct labor. And DH here was the total direct labor hours that we have uh, for the period here. Okay, so that's going over our case. So we quickly went over our different variances here for direct materials, direct labor, and our overhead.